hello guys so i'm going to share with you how i made my birthday wig cap so i have my dummy head i'm going to fix my net that is cap hair net or cap for the wig on it so i have my pins i have my thread i have my needle i have my scissors and my um hair piece that i am going to you so try to fix it well and so this is what i'm using it comes with um frontal or how do you call it so i'm going to fix that one first yes mm -hmm. so i'm going to use some pins to hold it in place uh -huh. yes some of these things uh, lend them not for money sake but for your own at least even if you know some of these skills and you will not use it to make money you will use it for your own self it means the money you will spend it out there you are going to save it and so we are going to sew it um down yes you're going to sew it all around fix it in place very well mm -hmm. And so try and learn some of these skills. When you go to YouTube, there are a lot of videos. Apart from watching mine, you can watch other videos also. That will help you. Okay, so don't just um, sit there in this technological world where you, you think if I don't go and pay money somewhere, I can't learn a skill. No, on YouTube, you can learn a lot. Okay, so learn them. And like I said, even if you will not use it um, to as your job, you can. It will save you money by doing your own thing. Do you get it? So I've sewn everything round, secure it very well. Yes. And I'm going to take the pins out. Yes. Okay. Tie it very well. Take off those pins. And I'm going to hold that part. Uh -huh. So I'm going to sew the wick on that i did not sew it on the elastic band if you sew it on the elastic band after you won't be able to wear it do you get it so i'm going to take it around this way to the next point hmm. and i decided to use my sewing machine to do that so i'm going to use my sewing machine just as i showed you that's how i'm going to do it so I'll take it all around this way. As I said, I did not sew it on the elastic band. If you sew it on the elastic band, you can't wear after. Uh -huh. And also, one thing is when you are using a wig cap, make sure you use a wig cap that is a bit loose, a bit bigger. Because by the time you finish sewing, whether you are sewing with your hand or machine, by the time you finish, it will be small. So make sure that the wig cap that you are using, the net or whatever you are using is a bit um, loose. So I'm going to continue in the same direction. So this time around, I decided to use the needle to do it and secure it. And I'm using it to sew it, but I'm sewing it wide because after I will also use, how do you call it, the machine to run through so using the needle and thread is just to help it to hold everything in place so that when i'm using the machine on it it will be easy do you get it mm -hmm. so after i'll use the machine on it and so that's what i'm doing again now just the same direction that i was uh, i started with is the same direction that i am going like you direction be <laughs> So I will just be taking it in the same direction till I get to the upper part where I feel, oh, this part is very uh, small. So if it's very small, then I'm not going to go in the same direction again. I'm going to change the direction. And this time around, at this point, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to um, turn it. Yes, just turn. You can also decide to um, cut it. So... I'll just secure it there mm -hmm. and I'm going to turn it and 
one of the difficulties that I faced was because I don't have a stand to hold my dummy in place. It was a struggle, but Chalisha la, I was able to do it. So I'll just turn it this way instead of cutting. You can also decide to cut it. Mm -hmm. If you know you cannot sew it for it to be very flat, then just cut it. Okay, but because I was going to use machine on top, it wasn't a problem at all. And so up to that point, yes, and then I'm going to cut the excess. At this point, I'm not going to go the same direction. I'm going to make it um, straight, straight. So this way, mm -hmm. then I'll sew it in place and then cut it and then do the next one also in the same also in the same um direction do you get it mm -hmm. so i'll cut it and then bring the next one also mm -hmm. and i'm going to sew that that one also in place till i get to um the closure or how do you call it the frontal side or closure or however they call it uh, so uh -huh. so I'm left with just the that part, so I'm going to place my uh, weave there to uh, seal it. So you see, mm -hmm. so this is it. I'm sewing that in place. When I'm um, sewing it, I try from the beginning to sew it at the seam side of the. Um, of the uh, hair piece, the same side that is where I sew to try and secure it. But after I don't sew it, the the rest I just go through the the hair piece. Like I said, I will use my sewing machine to secure everything. So I wasn't so much concerned about that. Okay, and so here I'm done. Yes. And I am left with this. I'll fix it inside there. So I'm just going to take the elastic band. And then this is it. We are done with uh, fixing now. It's about it's like with cutting it. So I'm going to take it off. And I'm cutting the net. Yes, but make sure you don't cut it straight to where you did the sewing. Yes, where you did the secure. Where you secured. If not, everything will come out. And I decided to cut the net also off. So I'm going to fix it on the dummy head again. And I'm going to um, apply mousse and net. I'll be applying mousse and net to wet it and get everything in place. And then I'm going to shape it to my desired shape and length. Mm -hmm. Comb everything through. So it's the mousse that I'm still adding bit by bit. Mm -hmm. And then comb. I didn't want it to be too much. So now I'm doing center pattern. With this, it didn't come with a pattern, a line. So I'm applying foundation uh -huh, in the middle. I also, after cutting the net, I also apply some of the foundation inside. But I did not show that part. So I'm cutting it's now i did not cut my desired length straight away i decided to do it little by little till i get to the length that i want so this i'm just cutting everything straight like a bob um kind of a hand so if you want to um, make it into bob you can tongue it into that yes so that's what I'm doing and now at this point I decided to reduce it again to get to the um, the length that I want I didn't want it long yes so I decided to do it again cut it again okay and so after getting to the length that I want I decided to um, straight and um, blow dry it and after blow drying the next thing is to use the and uh, straighten or bulb it this one i didn't straighten it in this video i did bulbing i bulbed it yes tongue it and then bulb it like this yes and curl it in 
Uh -huh. But after I decided to straighten it because I wanted it straight. So this was me. My birthday pictures. Yes. Uh -huh. So after this is how I did it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.